What's up everyone, I'm Craig and I'm here from VDZ Media today to show you guys some Castaway Paradise. It's a new game that was released this week on the PlayStation 4. I'm told it's quite a bit like Animal Crossing, which is something I've never played before and therefore cannot back up that statement. Um, we aren't going to start a new game today. Uh, the tutorial is a little bit slow to get going, so I have a save file here at level 9 and we're going to continue on with that and I'll just show you a little bit of what the game has to offer. Um, if I'm honest, I didn't really know what to expect uh, from Castaway Paradise. Uh, at first, it came across as quite simple, and I'm not saying that it's not, but there's something very relaxing, very rewarding, and very Moorish about it. Uh, I actually turned on about 10 o'clock the other night, and I ended up sitting up till about 2 in the morning, um, just thinking, right, just one more, just one more little urn that'll run, just one more of this, one more of that and I was, I was having a great time so we'll load it up just now we'll do a big bit more show you guys what the game's all about so this is showing you some daily rewards that you can get uh, if you come back to the game each day. So let's go back out. This is our little house. Um, when you go outside it's actually a tent, but when you come inside it's a house because reasons. Uh, there's cobwebs starting to form around the house. Not overly sure what that's about. I'm told you can get rid of them but I don't know if I need to unlock something that will allow me to do that, that I haven't yet. So, we go outside the house. As I said, it's a tent. So, basically, you have washed up on this island, uh, and you're trying to mingle with the locals. You're trying to become one of them. And you undertake missions from people on the island. You catch different insects, you pick up different stuff, you deliver things, you basically just do about everything. You do some fishing, in fact we're going to do some fishing right now. So I take my fishing rod, over here, and then I cast my fish. Fish has a wee nibble. And the mini game is stopping it inside the green and you catch a fish. And each time you do, it will be a different type of fish, a different size of fish, and you'll have a ratings board. Uh, it seems that no one's caught that type of fish yet, so I am number one. And may that continue. What is this? This is as far out into the water as you can go, so you really need to sort of scout about and wait till the fish are quite close. What's that? Can I pick this up? Right, I think these are all things that have appeared since the update. Oh, there's a fish there. Let's get it. Cast. So the green area in which you go to catch the fish, the rarer the fish is, the smaller that will be. I've caught a, a can of fish. Not 
the deal. Okay, so let's take out our net instead. This is what you use to catch bugs. So you'll notice that we start cutting about. There's some crops that have been growing. They're obviously ready. exactly sure what we do with those, I think we sell them. Right, so if we look about we'll end up seeing a spider or maybe a butterfly or something like that. They do tend to hang about the crops. have to go quite slow. If you run up to them, they will run away. So you have to sneak up and then press the correct button, which I was not doing. What is the correct button? See how that ran away there? Bastard. There we go. Got it. So, that was the elder berry beetle. Right, so on the right hand, left hand side, sorry, you'll see different people that we have available missions for. So, let's put this just now and we'll speak to this lad. See what he's wanting. Doesn't know what to do anymore. One of these custards. Custards, customers. He's got a huge quiche. Silly things like this, like, I can't help but I just get caught up in running about catching like, random creatures for no reason. Uh, there he is, the big baboon himself. So like I say, this is all simple stuff, but I, I don't know what it is, I quite enjoy it. Right, we want to talk about Gustav. Free a charge for you. So we've got them now, and then we take them back to him. And that will be another quest completed. Let's run fast, circle. So if we're doing that we get some XP. We also, if we take out a pickaxe, we have rocks we need to break up. To try and clean up the place because we're trying to make the island better. So we take all this stuff away, we do get to decorate the island later on, but uh, at the moment it's more of a, a clean up job. Uh, when you arrived there was a bit of a storm.
can't let her talk to Marcel again. Wait a minute. Where's Marcel again? See, this is a problem, I'm forgetting all their names. I think Marcel is this guy. There is things like this where the game isn't particularly hand-holding, which is a good thing in a way, but um, Let's have a look. So let's bring up our inventory, of which we have fuck all plants. Right, let's check in here. The storage. storage. Each time you sort of level up, you get some more equipment and that extra equipment then lets you do other stuff. Right, so let's go back and talk to that lad. Oh, 
show them my special if you really don't know that shit. Magnifique. So that's some more XP. Right. So she's wanting me to talk to Marcel again. So I must have another quest. Plant five seed boxes at the farm plot. Let's try it. Right, so first of all what you have to do is you have to rake the sedge in here. That's going to be a pint. Spaces if this is the right idea. Right so now we would go into which one needs to look up a plan. See this is a bit of an issue because I wish you could go in and get some more information of what each one of these is. Maybe that. Farm artichoke seed boxes. See, that's very specific. Alright, sure I can just give him that then. Yeah. Nice. That's quite good if you've already got it then you don't have to go and fish about for ages again, because that could take a while. Right, so let's talk to him again. Quest. Amelia. Just a headset. Here we go. 
Yeah, it doesn't give you a picture, so I'm basically going to have to go female to female trying to find this Amelia. Could be her. That's Polly. Right, let's go over here just now and we'll water these. So what you do is, whenever you plant, so first of all you rake, then you plant seeds, and then you get your watering can. And... Let's water twice each one of these. So you water it, and then you'll see a timer. Uh, that's how long it's going to take before those particular seeds will grow. Some of this stuff, the way it's designed, makes me think if it was meant to be, or if maybe even it was, and I just didn't know about it, uh, a free to play mobile game. And you could speed things up if you paid. Because it certainly looks like that was a consideration if it maybe didn't happen at all. here. But I have no idea who. Oh yeah, I put money in here. Forgot about that. You can bank money and then gain interest on it. And I was trying to do that. That's the zoom button. It's not going to be this thing, is it? As you can see, they're all pretty. I mean, maybe it gets a lot more difficult, but it's all simple quests. But it's just, I don't know. Like I said, it's just pretty relaxing. I'm <laughs> really enjoying myself. Yeah, let's talk about our quest. Okay, 
square. See this guy with the foot fetish ones. The quest mate, always the quest. I don't want to be your pal. Is I'll try keeping this going until we level up, just so that you can see that. Uh, when you first start the game, you only have this little island. I managed to unlock enough stuff that I've unlocked this part of the island as well, which has a pirate somewhere. He's usually down around about here. as relaxing as I do find this game and I honestly would recommend it. I, I just think it's, it's really charming. I don't think it's necessarily a game that lends itself well to streaming. Uh, if you've stuck with it this long, good on you. But it doesn't necessarily, I mean obviously if you're having a back and forth chat with the streamer and it's a live stream, then yeah, anything's possible. But I don't necessarily think streaming wise it is it is the greatest game for that this has completed another task cut the pine tree one's the pine tree. It's probably a really fucking stupid question. These are all apple trees that I... See, it's things like this, like it's just, it's so addictive. Like, I'm trying to do something else, but as soon as I saw that it was a fish close enough, I've got to go and get that fish. 
not up for the day. And then you think, oh, well, I'll just cut down one more tree, I'll just clean up one more, whatever, I'll just do one more of this. And like I say, you just end up being out till two in the morning, like I'm not special. So these have now all grown to set the next stage, and it's shown you that they need to water again. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a watering can out, and see, this is a bit fittery, but once it's highlighted like that, you have water, and you two lots of waterings. So we're going to do that. This time they are going to take 10 minutes. Because we've got plenty of other stuff to do. I believe all you can do is make money of the currency, obviously being super important on a desert island. Let's sell that and that. that. They talk to myself, so let's just do that. Oi. And we'll Just taking a drink. Right.
time for this. More at least though, see what it's like. Again, super simple. It's all just back and forth stuff. Uh, so now you'll notice there I was given a puzzle piece. What those puzzle pieces do are you do is you need a certain amount before you can repair stuff like this. So if I go up to here now. randomly for doing missions, like I don't know the specific missions that give you them, I think just some people do and some people don't give you them. So what you can do is here you can reveal certain bits. So with that to zero you can also buy in the shops
fuck it, no. We'll go, we'll go, eight, we'll go the eight minutes. That's what we'll end the stream with, whether this harvest works or not. Fuck the fuck thing you've got, lads. You must be buzzing. because I was wanting to get rid of the stump. ready now because I'm really battling falling asleep here. Nothing through the game, just I am buggled. Sleep has not been my friend recently with ill children. Catch another fish. See this music? It reminds me, it's not as good, but it reminds me a little bit of the sexy brutal. And the score on that was awesome. That one. 
Luckily the time does pass when you turn the system off. So you can turn it off, turn it back on in the morning and your plants will be ready. Which is so nice. She's been wide. Yeah, it says place furniture. Do I have more furniture I can place? That would be the issue. I'm going to have to go and buy more furniture. I do not know if I've got the money for that. buying stuff you can go to this lad and you can sell stuff to them. Like some of the bugs that you catch. to be the case but it will be the case until it's not the case. Right so let's buy this. Oh for fuck's sake that's all my money. This is cheaper. As soon as I can actually clean up these cobwebs, I would have plenty of room, but until then...
Is that not counted as a piece of furniture? Well, that's annoying. I don't even know if the TV will count, probably not. Not that sure though. If it does work, I've got three of them. <laughs> no. I really need a second room unlocked so that this works. Right, anyway, let's just harvest this. Hopefully this counts. If it does... Still, sell that stuff. Yes. Okay, okay. There we go. So that's and one's happy. So let's go talk to him. Receive our accolades and praise, and we shall call it a stream. Right, okay, I'm gonna call it a call it a day at that. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, anyone who decided to check this out, as I say, this has been Castaway Paradise. It is available now on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. I'm not sure about the Switch. It would certainly be a good fit on the Switch uh, if it is not out already. Uh, I believe the game is about £5, I'm not sure on that though, the code was provided to me by the publisher. Uh, that's pretty much all I've got to say, if you have any questions about the game, uh, feel free to hit me up on Twitter at VisualDZE, that's V-I-Z-U-A-L-D-Z-E. And subscribe to the channel, go to the website vdzemedia.net and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching.